I met Brandon Blom this summer at the Scholastic Reading Summit in Seattle, Washington, and I instantly knew that this was a guy I needed to be around more, a guy that I wanted to spend time with, a guy that I wanted to learn from. He just gives off this energy of excitement and passion towards kids, excitement and passion towards reading. I love the vibe that he's just spewing out of his pores. He's an amazing guy. Uh, when I started this series, One Question with Mr. Sharp, I knew I wanted to talk to him about Accelerated Reader. He was able to get rid of that horrendous program out of his school and do it in a way where it didn't ruffle a bunch of feathers, but in a way that it, they helped them to leap forward as a school. Amazing things. I'll make sure that below in the description, I link an article that he has written about it. But a great guy, amazing person. Check out his question. Thank you so much. Hey for everyone. Watching. So my advice as far as getting rid of Accelerated Reader would start by educating your staff. And that could mean reading articles, blog posts, the book Whisper, of course, is great. Um, but really to have that conversation, you know, they need background knowledge and, um, you know, some real strong reasons why independent reading is so important, why rewards for reading is not the way to go. Um, and so that's how I would start is just by, you know, having some common readings. And then I would also have some conversations. Now, when I say conversations, not with the whole staff, but actually individually, because I know with my staff, I thought way more people wanted Accelerated Reader than really did. And so when I got to have one-on-one -on -one conversations, um, I really got to see where people stood. And I also got to hear those that did like it, the reasons why, and then we could start talking through some of that. So start educating and then just start having that conversation one-on-one, -on -one, kind of see where people stand, what they like. And you'd be surprised, I think, how many people actually are ready to move on from AR. So my question for everyone is, what, um, what is stopping you from starting that conversation or why haven't you started that conversation yet? And um, I look forward to seeing in the comments, you know, what are some reasons that you haven't started that conversation? Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below answering Brandon's question about Accelerated Reader. If you have any stories about Accelerated Reader, a way that Accelerated Reader uh, was used in your school, how you got rid of it, or why you think we should get rid of it, or just stories from kids using Accelerated Reader, the good, the bad, the ugly, I'd love to know. We'd love to hear a little bit more about it. Uh, it's all about kids. It's all about getting the right books in their hands and teaching them to read for the right reasons. Thank you so much for watching. Looking forward to your comments below. You're amazing.